back. And we came from where we left off. Now, we need to find Renee's room in the semi aggravated ward. So, where would that be? When there was too much chaos, they closed all the windows in the door. They switched off the lights and it was pitch black. Some people fell asleep. Some others stopped seeing their demons and things became more peaceful.
put a straight jacket on you. They gave you a cold shower. They suffocated you with a sheet. They tied you to the bed. They tied me to the bed. A woman died next to me, suffocated by her own vomit. She was tied down because she wouldn't stop masturbating. I remember her death rattle. I screamed, but nobody came. Everybody screamed in there. The whole lot of them. It was then that I saw that doll, which wasn't Charlotte. No, she wasn't Charlotte. In the solitude of that crowded ward, the past came to harm me once more. He brought it with him. I would never have expected to see him. He had come there to remind me who I was. That's what my mother used to do. That's what I had done. It seems that my life in here is a repetition of what it was out of here. The doll, the fear, the shame. I should have liked to cancel everything I used to do. And instead, I did it again, repeatedly. Well, that's interesting. I can't leave. The police? Or, oh, I don't I want light in here anymore. What time is shit? Where the dark? Monte Foscoli, 12th November, 1939. Dear daughter, it is with great sadness that I have heard what has happened. Your transfer and your sufferings are a cause of great worry for me. It will take time, but you'll see. Things will improve. They'll treat you and you'll get better again. I pray a lot, every day. Write to me often and tell me if you need anything. I'll do what I can. Try to be strong, mom. This is the last letter she wrote me. Once I was put into this ward, loneliness arrived. After that medical examination, I received no more letters from Mum. Why is that man here? Why doesn't she come? Did I make a mistake? It didn't look like she wanted to abandon me. What did I do wrong? I should like to be able to reply to her again now to change things. Perhaps she would have listened to me. 
Will she reply? Yeah, good question. Will she reply? The letters were sent to the archive. It was their job to send them. I don't want to do this.
When you were sent to a lunatic asylum, you lost the right to possess anything. Everything you arrived with was packed up and stored here, even the clothes you were wearing, in case you were released one day. Too many, however, never left. Dear Mother, please, I beg you, get me out of this place. It frightens me so much. You were right. I know I was wrong. I realize I'm so ashamed. If you only knew how much. But now I'll behave well. Sure, now things will be fine. I'll work hard. I'll be very good. Your daughter, Renee. This letter. It was Renee's letter just like when it was written, but it was never sent. Why? Why did a thing like that happen? I've received your letter, Mum. You tell me to be patient and strong while I only have fear and pain, and you no longer write to me. If only these lines could be my soul and tell you what's happening to me. The kids want to kill me. They all look the other way, and they tell me what I must do. I don't understand. She helps me, but what have they done to her? Can you tell me? Will you help me? Renee. Monte Foscoli, 7th July, 1940. My dear daughter, I have received no news from you. You haven't even dropped me a line for months. Unfortunately, I can't afford to come and visit you. I've no money for the fare. Do you remember Mr. Onofrio? He'll soon be coming to Volterra on business. I've asked him if would be kind enough to ask the director to have news about you. I hope when he comes back, he'll be able to give me good news. But write to me. I know that I was strict with you. You have to excuse me. I didn't realize. I've given Mr. Onofrio a new doll for you. You told me that you lost yours, and I know you loved it so much. It's not as nice as your Charlotte, but I hope that it will comfort you nonetheless. Keep your chin up, daughter. Things will be fine. You'll see. Mom. Montefoscoli, 12th October, 1940. Dear daughter, I've written two letters to you and have received no reply. I await a letter anxiously every day. Mr. Onofrio has come back. He brought you the doll. Do you like it? He told me he didn't manage to speak to the director, but he did see you. I pray for you every day. Don Gino said a prayer for you during Sunday Mass. That was lovely, wasn't it? I've made up my mind, Renee. I'm going to bring you home. I've already written to the director. I told him that I'll take care of you. At the moment, I'm not well and can't work. But I'll soon get better. You'll see as soon as I'm up to making the journey, I'll come and get you. I know you're suffering a lot, but bear up, I beg you. Mum will come and pick up Renee, won't she? Mum is good. But she's not well. That's why that man came. The doll. Renee could have played with it, waiting for her to arrive. But Renee never had it with her. Is it one of Mum's lies? She knew that she had hurt Renee and... No, no, Mummy's good. That man brought it. We've just remembered him, haven't we? It was Renee who was wrong. Doll's there, that's sure. Perhaps she's been kidnapped like everyone else locked up somewhere in here.
still figure it out. That's suspicious, though, isn't it? Okay, well, just in the area, I guess. What am I supposed to do then? I have no idea what to do. 
I guess we'll call it a, a night. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.